Welcome back to another how to make a 5M framework. This one's going to be very quick as we are going to be dealing with the SQL. Now, first things first, I'm doing the SQL before the CSS because I want you guys to be prepared uh, whenever we start this uh, and go forward from it. So here's the layout for the video. We're going to do the SQL. We're going to talk a little bit while we're doing the SQL about what's going to be happening after the CSS. After the CSS, technically, the framework itself will be released. However, if you've been following the videos, there have been errors that have been placed in uh, snips of code that won't get solved just yet. That will be a, the video after CSS, uh, which is then going to demonstrate uh, some changes that we're doing to the base with exports and uh, so on. And it's also going to go over how to solve these errors uh, when it is launched. But for now, we're going to do the SQL. So in here, we're going to do a few things here. Uh, we're going to set, oops, this is going to be all in caps almost. So set SQL underscore mode. Oops. And this is going to equal into no underscore auto underscore value underscore on underscore zero. And we had a colon at the end. It's going to be start. transaction start transaction then set time underscore zone uh, equal to plus zero zero colon zero zero after this we need to create the database so how we're going to create the database you could just do this uh, in general but uh, as this is a good file I'm just going to be writing it so it's going to be create database if not exist. And uh, the reason why we're doing this is if you ever already have a database, this isn't gonna like rewrite anything. Uh, this is gonna be called MP framework. That's what we're gonna name the database. Uh, I'm gonna use all lowercase here actually as well. So MP framework, just like so. Then default character set to UTF 8 MB four. and then it's going to be the same thing uh, except we're going to add a few things under this so utf f 8 mb4 underscore general underscore ci and then you end that and now we're going to say what framework that all this is going to go in so we're going to do use whoops use and we're just going to grab this uh, mp framework one more time and that's just making sure that it is using this framework. Now we're going to start with players. So very simple. We're going to create a table, call it players. Uh, you guys can call it whatever you want. You just might have to switch a few things. Uh, you do it that way. Then we're going to add a bracket. So first thing in here, we're going to have an ID, whoops, ID, uh, and this is going to be sent to an inter of 50 so max is basically 50 uh, 50 characters and then it's going to be not null uh, similar thing we're gonna have an identifier and now this is going to be a var care or var care bad, of 50 characters and then same thing, default none, or nil, my bad, null. And, uh, whoops, it's not a, it's going to be commas after everything here. Um, so we're going to do this a couple times. So then we're going to have a license, license here, and this is going to be var care of that 50 one more time. And I'm going to keep that collected in here as we're going to have name as well, which is the same exact thing, var care 50 default null. And now we're going to have a CID. A CID is going to be an interval of 11. And default null. And we're just going to copy default null because that's like the main, the main thing. So now we're going to have cache. Cache is going to be the same thing, an interval of 11 with a default of null. Um, same thing with bank here. We're going to have bank of an interval of 
11 and default be null. Okay, now first name. Uh, first name is going to be a var care, and we're just going to copy this down. Uh, same thing with last name, going to be a var care. And now sex, same exact thing. Same thing with date of birth, which is date DOB. And same thing with job. A uh, job might be different. Job's actually going to have a default of unemployed, as that's the current job you will have. Uh, then phone. Phone's going to be actually a little different. This is going to be a text. Uh, and then default null. And then lastly, we're going to have citizen ID. And that's going to be a var character. Uh, we're going to, we just set it to 200. And then at the end right here, right here, we're going to basically just type in engine uh, and then default your character set. Um, pretty, pretty simple, pretty simple. Next, we're going to go into ranking. So another create table. Uh, this one going to be called ranking. And it's the same thing down here. We're going to basically tell them the engine and the default character set. And then uh, basically type in the same shit you wrote up here with the creating a database as creating a table. But we're going to start it off with a identifier. So this identifier, basically just you can copy this down is what I'm saying. You can copy this down. Uh, you, I set it to 50, 40, doesn't really matter. I set it to 40. And basically what I'm gonna do is copy and paste this one more time. And instead of identifier, we're gonna do user group. And user group is gonna be set to admin or something. Default we have is actually set to uh, null, but we could actually set this to user, uh, but up to you. Up to you if you wanna do null or user. Uh, Either one works, to be honest. But that's going to be it for the ranking. Now we're going to do a couple things, which is going to be an alter table. Uh, what we're altering in the table is going to be players we're altering. And in here, I'm just going to add a space. We're going to add primary key. And the primary key we're actually going to have in here is uh, ID. Just like so and we do the same thing with uh, ranking I'm just gonna copy and paste this thing if we're ranking and the primary key is you're gonna be your identifier and then lastly we're gonna alter alter table players one more time so we're gonna copy this down and inside of players what we're altering uh, we're gonna add a commit after this real quick but we're, we're altering this is actually we're gonna modify so modify Modifying ID of int 50, not null. And what we're going to do is auto increment. And what this is doing is uh, basically it will automatically go up as more players are created. And like I said, very short video for this. Uh, very short video for this. Um, but next is going to be the CSS. So let's talk about what we're actually going to do after this. Um, so we're going to be doing the CSS of the HTML, which is going to complete the framework. In that, we're going to go in and do a few things that we, let's just say, messed up. Let's just say, yeah, let's just say messed up. There also needs to be a few things for notifications whenever we get that done. Uh, we could just change these to prints if we wanted, but that's not going to be good enough for us. Uh, as you can see, we have git objects. So we're actually having a comment in here. Uh, and we're going to change this to an export. Um, and that's the same thing with this. So uh, change to export. So these are all going to be eventually, or this is going to be an export eventually. And uh, I feel like there's a lot in here that we could also change to base functions and get these to be exported. For an example, uh, we're going to have something, we're going to have an export. Uh, not really sure if it's going to be in uh, the base, but we're going to have a file that allows us to export out and send in information that we can get a player's job without calling, um, 
without calling these big functions and constantly doing the same thing over to get a job, but we could just export, send the source, and it will return their job and so on. But other than that, it's going to be a very, very short thing for this SQL. Uh, and you could use XAMPP, uh, you could use any SQL thing you want to use. Uh, personally, I like to use, uh, I, think Zamp, I think XAMPP is actually a pretty good one right here. You could just download this, uh, just search up XAMPP on Google. It's the first link you click download and you can get right into your database that way. But thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like, comment, uh, come hop in the Discord, come join us, join all the fun. Uh, there's now new things in the Discord as well, which I guess I could show off. So in the Discord, we have uh, we have some tickets, which I need to go in and answer that one. Uh, but then we also have boosting. So uh, people who boost uh, will have boosting coding, which allows them to get the stuff earlier whenever it is finished from me it will be uploaded into here for them. So they don't really have to wait on some videos if they don't want to. Um, I hope they would watch the video still, but they don't need to if they don't want to. And also, uh, they're going to be able to vote on stuff that they want. And yeah, and so on. But thanks for watching.